everyone. My name is Paulo, Paulo Pinto, and I'm here on behalf of CLT service, and I'm presenting a communication. It's all about continuous improvement. I will talk about the specific tool that is applied in a specific area of, of the improvement cycle, and I will try to answer this question, how to support continuous improvement. So at the end of the communication, I hope that I also contribute to the, to the value of this organization. I will talk about a very simple tool that you can use in every kind of challenge that you face. It doesn't matter if it is a, let's say, a public or a private challenge. It's something about knowledge learning and knowledge sharing. So, the tool that I will speak is the after action report. Something that we should do at the end of a cycle, of an improvement cycle. We should sit around the table and we should discuss what we have learned from a certain project. As I said moments ago, it could be personal or private project. The main goal is to tell you, to show you, that when we have, let's say, a structured, structure, a structured process, sorry, we have the roots, we have the convictions to learn from the improvement that we tend to do. So, Speaking about continuous improvement, this structure is quite important and at the end of this cycle it's important to get the knowledge and share that knowledge. Therefore, therefore this, this communication will be about Lean, because Lean is one of my working areas and one of my research areas, and continuous improvement tools. We know that problem solving is one of the most important uh, aspects of continuous improvement and at the same time it's also based on learning from experience, learning from mistakes, learning from deviation that we tend to, to identify and always try to come to better results. I will speak about some continuous improvement methods. Here I mentioned the scientific method and PDC, PTCA. It's not they are not the only ones. I can give you some other examples, like in the case of Six Sigma, I can identify the DMIC methodology and the eight disciplines, but I will focus mainly on those two because they are quite similar. They are both very simple methods and they are focused on continuous improvement. And they are also related with the Lean philosophy. They are as well very simple and I'm sure that most of you know, know them, especially PDC and cycle. But if I ask you one by one, if you really apply it, at least if you apply it in a formal manner, probably the majority will say no, I just use it in my head. And why? Probably because it's too simple. We tend to not to focus too many attention on those simple things. And I guess and I think this is a mistake. And I think the, the, the secret of the continuous improvement is going back to those simple, simple tools. Because there is also something that we also have to, to learn. Continuous improvement is just not about my, but not only about myself, but it has to be, it, it has to be involved, it has to be shared by all the members in the organization. So by being simple is one way to invite everyone to participate. Okay, I will focus on PDCI cycle the meaning of B, D, C, A. But mainly this bit here is quite important. Traditionally, when we speak about B, D, C, I cycle, we tend to, to see it a circle divided by equal parts, B, D, C, A. Let's say 25% of the time on each part. But when you think about this, probably we should resize, the, let's say, the, the amount of each, each part. Probably planning should be a little bit bigger. And if you do the correct planning, the do will go better and the check probably will not be necessary and we will leave, say, a larger part for this component, the act, the learning, the shared knowledge to see what lessons can we gain from, from the improvement. 
So the Sheikh and the judge will able to learn to, to gather knowledge and at the same time to share it for, for the next improvements. Okay, I will focus from this point on the after action report that will be applied in the act phase. I'm sure that is one of the most powerful tools in terms of, of in terms of organization learning, not only to retain the knowledge but to avoid the knowledge will be lost in the future. And I also will apply this this tool at this event, for example. You can use it in any situation. This is a typical uh, this is a typical <laughs> the, the characters are just lost. This is a typical layout of uh, let's say uh, an after action report. Let's imagine an A3 sheet of paper. You divide it in four blocks. And on this block, we'll, we'll, we'll put the summary. For example, this event was organized by the university or the institute. It was held on this day. And uh, the organization staff was A, B, and C. OK, summary. And then we will analyze the critical tasks, not only what was, let's say, what had a positive but also a negative impact, because the next time, the next year, when we, when we plan to organize a similar event like this one, we will focus on those critical tasks in order to be more prepared, in order to have more, let's say, contingency plans. And then, on that part, let's try to remove it, there is the analysis of the results and also the lesson learned. We should, make, we should make some questions here. What went wrong? What was not done according to expected? What, what, what went really good? And what are the lessons learned? And finally, we conclude by giving some recommendation for future work. For example, next time, there is no certain that I will be involved in organizing this event. OK, no problem. But the knowledge that was gathered from from, from this year, from the previous year, is there, it's available on that, on that paper. Okay? So, the, those that come after me, they will not start from zero. Probably they will start from 10 and 20. And that's one, one way to continue growing and getting knowledge. Okay? Because we tend to say that, uh, especially in Portuguese, we tend to say that uh, the error is something like human. No, it's not. Human is doing the things right. Okay? And there is also a an important lesson from, from this. We should not do the same mistake year after year. We should try different ones because that also helps us to, to grow. Okay. So this was difficult characters to read from that point. Final thoughts. <laughs> final thoughts. Those are final thoughts, okay? <laughs> Quite difficult to express in terms of, of good ideas. Okay, final thoughts. I will not follow this. As you can see, I, I here. Final talk is, this is important. Every time we do a, let's say, an improvement cycle, this, or, or for example, uh, every time we, we implement a project, a personal or a, a professional project, it's important at the end. Let's, let's spend one, one, one evening, one morning, all together, members involved. Let's try to write down what we have learned from this. Let's try to avoid the mistakes. Let's try to put knowledge and recommendation for future, for future workers. This is one, one idea. Another is that uh, the after action report is a very simple tool. It is not so easy. You don't have to use a computer. You just use the paper and uh, some uh, pen and write it down. It's important as well not to exclude, not, it's important to involve all the members of the organization. They all have to give some, some kind of input. They all have to participate. And at the same time, this was the final talk. This tool, this simple tool, is, uh, is that, that supports this, this phase, the important phase, because that will give us the energy to the next step. OK, our recommendation, let's see if it happens correctly. It's important to make this tool available and as well as, as well as a common practice in all levels of organizations, even in virtual organizations, I think it's important. Well, it's important as well to use this tool not to criticize people, to think, but to criticize the process in order to improve it. 
And well, it's important that every member should be involved. And finally, something that we should not forget. And at the end of this presentation, I also will do, let's say, an after action report to avoid that kind of mistake that you just saw. There is no perfect process. All processes can be proven. And I will take this lesson for the future. This was my presentation. Thanks a lot for, for your attention. This work was done mainly by my colleague, Christian, and by myself. I'm open to discussion, to any questions. Please feel free to 